Welcome to Satisfactory. My name is Nila. So this is episode nine of our Let's Play campaign. Or right, let's try test weekend recording marathon, I could say. So where do we find ourselves? We find ourselves on top of our hub. Beautiful, magnificent hub. What is on the agenda is the big target that we have to aim for. Not like immediately, but what we should gradually uh, head towards is this one. This is called EGP Midgame. Obviously a, uh, a placeholder name, but it is what gives us access to sort of the longer term. This is not what we are going to be building right now, but we are going to build the factory that builds these. So let's have a look at it. These are reinforced iron plates. We know how to do those, but we can't build them. And rotors, the moving part of a motor. So let's uh, let's start take, looking at what kind of tech we need in order to, uh, to build this. In the meantime, I found out that in this version of the Alpha, we um, uh, the color gun doesn't work. So that's about. Let's get this one. This is the one we need because it gives us. I don't know what we need. The modular frame. I would imagine maybe the modular frame could be used for this for the rotor. I don't know. We'll find out. Definitely, this is going to be the milestone. 300, 300, and 1,000. So it's more of the same, which is absolutely fine. And then we're going to start to do some planning. And on this planning, because we now have a couple of green slugs or power shots, we can actually start considering the ratios for our various things. And we have splitters and mergers, so we can, for example, take some of this and build it at ratio. So fun with ratios. One, two, three is what we need. And then take an extra one because an extra one is always nice. Here. One, two, three, and I already have some extra ones, so no need. Here, I'll just get that one. In. Okay, I can't do that. It's just always good to keep filling these up whenever possible. There. Right, and we also need some stone bricks. Not that we really, really need it, but I think we kind of need it. There's a lot of jumping in the space. Can I still jump over? Nope, I cannot. Oops. This one is 30 per second. This one is 45 per second. I really should be speeding up, shouldn't I? Grab it all, because that's really where we are most hard pressed. Let's have a look at this milestone. Oh, we also need some here. Stick two. I just love this place. <laughs> this game. The music, I just don't get tired of it. It's I think music in modern video games is incredibly I don't know, it's not really underrated because some some games just make it Flawlessly every time. We know, of course, Victoria. I'm still like getting excited about each some of their numbers. Those are records are, and Darkest Dungeon as well. It's awesome. It's I mean, there are just some really magical. Things. It sets the scene so well. So well done, composer of the music for Satisfactory. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Goodbye. Please don't hit the space elevator. Good. Let's have a look at what this is. So, all the way down. So I can make modular frame that comes from the reinforced plates plus gears. We don't know what that's used for yet. This one, it's not that bad. Uh, okay, it's bad. 22 of those? Okay, that's crazy. This one as well. Hmm. Let's have a look at the assembler. Okay. Oh, hold on. Is that plus? Nice. So six reinforced plates, four rotors, and a cable. Hmm. Have a look at it. Rotors can't afford this recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How many rotors? We need four rotors. There. Got it. And that's all the cables. So now we can build the assembler. The question is just where? Ah, I still don't have the map. Still no, no map. Let's have a look at what the next one. Let's get something that's more of a convenient thing. Let's see what we have. We have an optic center for the nuts and berries. Might take that. The conveyor wall so we can build a bigger factory. Uh, the exploration basics, beacon and optic scanner. I think that would be a nice one to get. Let's at least for the time being take this one. Tier 2, what do we have? We have jump pads and walkways. Yeah, okay. That doesn't really empower our factory. So at the current tech we need to work... I thought we had more than that. Oh, I think I used one of them somewhere. So these two, I'm tempted to add one more. No, these are just going to build what they can. Let's, okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> so if I'm... I can't even look at recipes unless I build a... a simpler? Or a crafting bench. Let's build a crafting bench. Just so we can look at recipes. For the reinforced plate. 4 and 24. So that's one and six. That's gonna be one hell of a nightmare because the screws here, they're easy to handcraft, but crafting them in a machine is very inefficient because it cannot be transported on the belt. The belt can only take 10 per second. So it's gonna be waiting. That means Okay, let's start by building our new assembler. Yeah. Two inbounds, one outbound. Let's have a look at if this is aligned with which one? Okay, so there's two. Yeah, so it can be aligned here, it can be aligned in the middle, or it can be aligned to that one. Let's try this one just to get a feel for it. Let's jump up. Oh, it looks awesome. Look at that. Can I, oh, I can't luckily not jump into it. And I'd be assembled. And then it comes down out of one item. Great. Let's configure it. This can now only make the things with two. So the first one I want today is the module frame. We don't need that yet, but rotor, we do need it. Rotor is basically, and that's strange because the, hmm. Yeah, the screws are part of the iron rod, so. Reinforced plate, this one. This can consume 120 screws per minute, but it cannot get that in with, even with two full belts coming in, it wouldn't be 100 screws. So this one's basically consuming 140 screws per second uh, per minute and there's no way that I can go there without having a better belt. So if we did this it would be 10 and 60 which would be fine because then I could just take one of each belt. Yes, one iron plate and one screw belt. The screw belt will come from that one. Yeah, so I need to build a constructor that I cannot. I'm not sure I want to just continue to build outwards, but we know, we know, now we know. Constructor. There. Hmm. That's aligned with that one. That makes sense. This one, making screws and We're starting to see more things that require the the reinforced iron to be made, so we have to find a way to make this more efficient. I'm not sure making it in my little starter factory here is a good idea. Whoops, that was certainly not what we wanted. And uh, no, I can't do that. 
Why is this not working? Uh, because it's the wrong one. Oh. And uh, let's actually see if we can rotate this one. I rotate it. Nope. I can build it. I can return it. So I can't change it. That means I have to change these two. This one is now going to be cables. This one is now going to be rods. Yeah? Can I just press sort? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's changed. Something like this. And there, there. Good. Now this one is pretty slow because it only does 15 per second. So what I basically should be doing is actually taking this one into two of those. See, this is where I'm, I'm starting to feel that I'm, I am going to outpace my starter factory. And if I build a new factory, I think it'll be better instead of just tagging it on here. But I'll build it inefficient as it is. Yes, like this. Then we're going to have it from here into a... There. I think I want to start them off as close to an edge as they can. So, from... I don't have any. Of course I don't. In here. Plates. From here into that one. Yes. This will make screws and I will... I guess I'll need another craft bench just to... To make the reinforced plate in order to make one more constructor. Let's build a few. There. A, that's the constructor. Now this needs to go into a... What does it need to go into? We're going to have screws coming out here and we're going to have plates coming out here. That means I'm not going to store that, so I will need... Maybe I'll put this on as number six. I guess I'm going to need more of these. It's the inbound. Should I align it here? Like this, maybe? Can I then take a belt from here into here again? Whoop, jump and jump. There. Those plates. And here comes big old nothingness because it's not powered but that one extend it further that's a big one So they got a bit further. And we need a storage. I 
don't need anything outside, so let's see if we can build it right here. Very short conveyor belt. Yes. Alright, so now all we need is a bit of power. Where can we leech it from? That, not that one. Really? Why not that one? It's impractical. Here. Alright, let's look at the power. Oof, it's climbing. 60 megawatts. And this is going to be an issue, I would guess. See, it has to count up to 24, which is not going to happen. What I can do, like making several of these, and then merge this one in on this one so that this is not a full belt of iron plates, but it's a half belt, maybe, or one third of a belt or something crazy like that and we lost power just as we were about to why do we lose power here huh. let's make sure we have enough this is good that's 400 uh, 800 hmm. I guess we might need another power my biomass burner Whoa. Whoa! Where did the other one go? Yeah, I can't go into this one because that's yeah, that's just the way it is. Is it because of overload? Looks like it's because of overload. And I guess we we'll do it. one more biomass burner. Got everything we need here. Except that one. Well, we lost our power anyway, so... What's... What's hurting if we are... Losing power even more? Draw? Let's do that. And it's better power pole. There, from here. Yeah, 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 I know. But you get this one, and you get more as well. Everyone gets more. So, everyone's happy. Flip the switch, now I have 80. 80 megawatts of power and it's running on biofuel which is not the best thing but it's yeah it's something let's have a look at what we what we just built oh can I yes no yes so let's get some more some more iron plates Oh yeah, you're working, you're just very, very slow. Iron plates. Let's continue with the exploration plate basics. What? Hmm. Some weeds between the, the, the concrete slabs. So as we progress in tech, there will also be more new tech like vehicles that uh, are going to be really exciting to get. They could be automated. And we're also going to be much more exploring, but what I really want to do now is actually make sure that we built, just have a constant supply of the reinforced iron plates. It's not going to be a lot, but it's going to be something. Oops, that's not it. It's this one. It's there, there, and there. Let's send off the exploration. Ready to launch. Ring. Milestone reached. To ensure your survival and effectiveness when exploring xenoplanetary environments, you now have access to an object scanner and beacons. Add to lists. Reinforced. Oh, that requires reinforced. And it also requires beacon. Where do we make beacons? That here? Yeah. What does that take? Uh, 
Okay. So I guess we have three of those. And the reinforced. I think I'll just craft them here instead of going back. One more reinforced. And more screws. We built an object scanner. Let's figure out what that can do. One object scanner. Here. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't do much. Uh, I think this is something you can run around with and then it will detect whatever thing that's closest. Let's check. Conveyor walls. I don't think I need it, but I'd like those stairs. Then I can check berries and here. Jump pads. And what? This one has stairs and this one has stairs. Interesting. Select the milestone. We can do almost all of it. Okay, but I'll keep this one up. Maybe it'll beep. If you pointed at something. Huh. Alright. Maybe not. Well, I won't have no need anything else. So let's just do this. Let's see if our production over here is working. It will be slow, yes, but it will work. Crates, crates, crates of screws. 24 screws, yes, but it's not even like 24 screws, it's 24 boxes of screws. That's a lot of screws we are... Let's see, the last one, let's see, how many do we have? 10. Grab it. It's good. Now let's have a look at rotors. This one can consume 15. Hmm. I think this one can also just produce, consume and produce 15. Yeah, consumes 15, delivers 15. So since this one is larger, then the real solution is to have miner, smelter, oh, hello little fella. And then two of these, except I can't really, can I? I could if I remove you. Yeah, that's a lot of crap we are suddenly getting in. And... Could this be moved one back? I think it could. All right, we're just, everything's gonna change now. And let's get this one out. Oh no, it can't be done because of... Oh, it's actually because I don't have enough. I thought it was because it was encroaching. There. All right, so I guess you need to come further back. Oh my God, I've just wrecked my entire base. Isn't that what always happens? This is classic Factorio, isn't it? So, we're going to get a smelter. It's going to be aligned towards the start of this one. Whoops. <clears throat> towards the start and the middle. Like this. And actually, that's also incorrect. I think I want it here. That's not the right thing. Four. Smelter. The reason I want it there is because I want it to go into a... Logistics. Kind of a splitter. Why does that... Why does it like that feel? It's... 
I don't know. I suppose that's a good no good location. And Okay, now it gets even worse. Okay, still can keep everything in my inventory. This one. Actually, it's gonna end up at exactly the same. Can't build right up to a belt. Got to remove the belts first. Here. Uh, oh, is it the wrong one? Yep, yeah, it's the wrong way. Again. Is this okay? It's... No, it has to go one there. And did I just build it exactly the same place that I had it before? Yes, I did. And... Out and in. Reducing splitter, this one, iron, and it will go from here, up to here. Yeah, it's a bit curly, isn't it? But it doesn't matter. Here it would matter. So, these are both going to be iron rods. Iron rods, iron rod goes here, into the storage. Does it go into storage both places? No, it doesn't. It absolutely does not. Uh, this one's out, except that's way too much. Uh, can I make a personal storage organization? Yes, please. That one. There's a lot of things there. Got it. So these are both making at 15 per second. One is going into a storage because reasons. That's not exactly the right place to put a storage now that I look at it. Storage should be... Why is it jump? Why, how, would you, how do you jump up there? I mean, is it because of the crouching on this one? Damn. Um, I have to remember this one. That means... This one has to be the iron rods and that has to be the screws. So that's at least something. The screw things will have to go directly. Yes. Everything has to go directly. That is a smelter. I need a constructor. There. It is kind of complicated to make this. All right. So that one replaces this one. I got everything picked up. Nice. And I'm going to build a new storage. Where I take and deconstruct. Now, this one can then do eight. Still jumping, it's still jumping like crazy. Oh, right, sorry, totally my fault. This game is flawless. It's me who is anything but flawless. Right. There. So this will just simply, simply store iron rods. So I have now iron rods coming out here. And I have... Here. I'm not going to store 
in these because they're going to be crafted faster than they can be built this one unfortunately has to come in from something over here <laughs> Oof, it's uh it's tricky so this one is going to have iron rods yes let's actually just get the iron rods in there Yeah. That's a good start. So I don't know, it's this one with these screws. I don't know what goes in here. This one. Might as well take these, just to fill them up because they are kind of clogging up my inventory. And here, jump over. That one. Yes, so we got rid of majority of the junk and we're going to take the other iron in here, which means I think I have to replace this, which is not really a big deal. That's definitely something we're going to do next time. So, <laughs> wow, so all we did this time, let's actually just hook it up as well. That's going to be important from here to... And that one also goes onwards. I don't know where, but there maybe. To that one, yes. This one now only has two left, so. That one has one left. And I can't do it until I have released at least one of these. There. Can't afford? What are we missing? Oh, I think we're missing... Some cables. I like this way of doing it. This is... Uh, the new, the new handcrafting. Oh, it's already connected. Oh, okay. And that one. Does it work? You're working on these. This one is not working yet. Well, actually, it will be soon enough. Now it should work. All right, and I can then build more. But I will do have to do some... Hmm, I wonder how that's done. I have to go over and under with some belts because this... This is iron rods, which needs to be combined with what comes in here, which will be iron plates. But the iron plates also need to be split over here. See, if we look at... Let's delete the branch again. Rotors. You know what? That one could actually be rotors. Yeah. So that could be rotors and I'll make another one for the plates. The plates will... We'll find out, right? Because that basically takes this one and splits it again. And then makes more screws, because screws have to be built, like, dedicated for each, because they can only transport 60 per belt. All right, well, that's something. What's something? Organization, watchtower. Let's go up. The watchtower and hopefully don't kill ourselves when we run down it's a good place to stand okay so we got the new assembler assembler's working we built some like ah, this is beautiful from up here and that magnificent space elevator 
really awesome all right so let's wrap this one up thank you very much for joining if you like it you know where that like button is by now and if you haven't already maybe it's time for you to subscribe to the channel so you can follow once the when the next episode or other episodes comes out so thank you very much and see you next time bye